Welcome to Foundry Fastlane, Orzen AI's new beginner-friendly series to take you from zero to hero in Palantir Foundry and AIP. The goal of the series will be to walk through every course on learn.palantir.com together, collaboratively. Then we'll take it a step further and create spin-off use cases off the existing courses that we complete. Today's video will be run by me, Connor, founder of Orzen AI, and we'll take the first step at completing the setup of your account in Palantir Foundry. We'll make use of something called AIP Dev Tier, your free limited functionality version of Palantir to at least get your hands on it as a team slash department and see how you like it. Without further ado, let's get started. get started, we will navigate to palantir.com forward slash developers. At this link, we will be able to see the unlock free dev tier button above. If you go ahead and click that, that'll begin your registration for your free AIP dev tier. Basically, all you need is your first name, last name, um, an email account, a phone number, a photo ID from a supported country. Um, that list you can see here. Um, it's quite encompassing, but it will continue to be supported in more and more uh, countries. And finally, a credit card. I have already set up my account, so I cannot step through the directions, but it's fairly self-explanatory. Just follow the instructions and you'll be able to get your hands on a free uh, dev tier. During your setup, you will be prompted to kind of give your organization a name. So here I'm using Clear Process Solutions but you'll see that reflected in the URL above once you configure. Once in here, I know there can be a lot to look at in Palantir Foundry, um, but first thing we're going to do is look at the training materials. So if you on your keyboard click Control J, that brings up your shortcut functionality in here. You can also see that um, displayed here in the search box, search for anything in your enterprise, Control J. We will just go to training. Shown here is the training tracks that Palantir has out of the box. You can see one for app developer, front end, data analyst, data engineer, AI engineer, and data scientist. We will eventually in this series work through each of these. To start, we will probably start with the application developer. Some other useful links are shown at the bottom between platform documentation, Palantir Learn's official website, some real world examples, um, and the dev community. So first link that we'll jump to is this Palantir Learn. This you'll want to sign into as well or create an account if it doesn't already for you. But this really shows all the learning tracks and courses in greater detail that you can kind of use as an LMS for um, you and your team. If you click into tracks, you'll see something similar to that last page. Um, and really, it's just going to be broken out in each of these classes with you know various um, skill level courses between beginner, intermediate, um, supporting documents and actual demos for people who have demos out there on YouTube. Maybe I'll be there one day. Um, that you can use to um, help you through the um, self-guided tour. Another huge piece that we will be using and that I highly recommend you to create an account in is community.palantir.com, kind of like a community forum for the tool. I find these community forums very helpful for debugging um, whenever I have issues that I can't get over, at least searching in here to see if anyone else has overcame that issue, and even having uh, posing questions to have you know experts in the field answer your questions and kind of clear roadblocks for you. You know, given Palantir's kind of just exploding in, in adoption, you know, there's not unlimited resources out there but this can really be the community that would help you overcome some more challenging kind of roadblocks that you would run into. Congratulations. 
you have now created your own AIP dev tier account. You've unlocked all the core functionality of Palantir Foundry, and more importantly, given you and your team a risk-free sandbox to test how Palantir meshes with your organization's data flows, workflows, and delivery systems. From here on out, you'll be able to follow each episode click for click, experiment with course trajectory, and bring fresh insights back to your organization. If that sounds valuable, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. The full learning track is coming at you next. Speed runs, governance, tips and tricks with Python, and more. If today's uh, setup saved you time, drop a like and, and follow us for more. Thank you.